Conjunctions. As you know by now, my book, The Right Book for Writing, guides me on when to teach, what to teach, and even though I list conjunctions as stage step number 21, you could teach it anytime you want. This is just a suggestion. Let's look at subordinating conjunctions. These files, click on the link below and you can find these files. And what makes this file nice is it matches my conjunctions workbook. For example, although I enjoyed the Grand Canyon, although I enjoyed the Grand Canyon, I just repeat what's in here. So you don't have to buy this book. Just use a spiral bound folder you get in the dollar store, uh, the inflation store, whatever it's up to now. And you can write your sentences in there. This, uh, I put some of the rules and other information for teachers, adult English language learners, but little kids could use this because it just follows my conjunction files. I like this one because uh, World Heritage Sites, uh, one of my many goals in life is to visit every World Heritage Site. We'll see if that gets done. And when you want worksheets, uh, I get tired of printing up so much paper. I don't like wasting paper. For example, coordinate conjunctions. You have these and you show children, your students the file and they hold up the whiteboard. He enjoys cookies, hmm, milk. And then they put and in there. And the next page, I have the answer sheet for you. So I have them for uh, coordinating, subordinating, and correlative conjunctions. Uh, for conjunctive adverbs, no, I don't go into detail uh, on this, because we'll see that for another day. The important thing is, I like say this over and over again, the classroom is made for conversational English. Sure, you have to do some writing, because we know that some kids don't do their homework, so you have to do some writing in class. Uh, but speaking and listening, learning and having fun, dancing and turn up the music, just make it a positive atmosphere. Learning is number one, and number two is having fun. If you make them both, you have a good class. Remember, if you can't afford this book, no problem, just use a spiral bound folder. Have a good day.